surprise, surprise, I'm not at the beach. And it's not even the morning. And I'm on my way home from the area assembly for North Florida. I thought I'd stop and show you a little bit of this park that we have here on the way back. Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, the fire pit is, looks like this is pretty flooded out and it's the ground I'm walking on is pretty soggy. Uh, but I have to admit, um, I'm very grateful that I'm in Florida. It's uh, January and uh, I mean, I, I have on a long sleeve shirt underneath this t-shirt, but it's not cold. It's a little chilly. It's maybe, I don't know, 67, 68 degrees. <laughs> I have a lot to be grateful for. One of the jobs that I had this weekend at the area assembly was to, to pick up our keynote speaker from the airport. He had flown in from Omaha and uh, I guess he was pretty surprised at how nice and warm it was. I am so grateful that I live here. <laughs> There's some beautiful areas across our country that I love to visit. Hell, I've been to Alaska, but I am extremely grateful that I live here. I just dropped him off back at the airport to head home and he's going into uh, like 20 degree weather. So <laughs> that just makes me even more grateful, <laughs> you know? I find that gratitude is probably one of the, one of the biggest and most useful tools that I've gained through sobriety. Just being grateful for what I already have. You know, most of the complaints that we have are for things that didn't take place like we wanted them to, or, um, you know, we didn't, we didn't get what we thought we deserved, uh, or other people, this is the big one, other people not acting right. <laughs> That's what it boils down to, is other people just not doing things the way we think they should do. You know what? I'm grateful for the differences between people. Um, you know, if you've ever been involved in general service, you know that it's kind of crazy the way that um, all the different people that come together and, and try to make things happen and, you know, the voting process. I'm new to it. And so I'm, I'm very much aware of uh, just how different we are. Let's put it that way. So yes, I have a lot of things in my life to be grateful for. And I have found that it's important that I keep close watch on that. That I stay aware of the things in my life that I have to be grateful for. It changes my attitude about my life and about the world around me. When I concentrate on the things that aren't what I want them to be, it affects my attitude. That's where negativity comes from. I like being a positive person. I like being a positive influence on the people around me. And the best way for me to do that is to stay grateful. Grateful for the things that I do have. Grateful for the people in my life, whether they're agreeable with my terms of life or whatever, doesn't matter. The point is, is that they are in my life. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in the things that aren't going the way we think they should go. And it certainly affects our attitude. I don't know, I guess I'm just, uh, just very happy to be alive. Um, today I'm present. Today, I, I enjoy life just the way it is. I don't have to change anything. God has granted me the serenity to accept those things that I cannot change. <laughs> he's granted me the courage to change those things that I can. And he's also given me the wisdom to know the difference. Now, does that mean I don't have to pray that prayer anymore? Certainly not, certainly not. It doesn't last. I take my will back all the time. And so, yes, I pray the serenity prayer on a very regular basis. And I continue to try to 
become a better person. Um, you know, it's a daily walk. It's a battle uh, to become the person that God wants me to be. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to put down the alcohol, but that's just the beginning. It's a matter of changing. It's a matter of not only changing my attitude about the world around me, but changing who I am, the person within. I have become a different person. They say that the same man will drink again. Well, I'm not the same man. I'm definitely not the same man. Today, I am happy, joyous, and free. And that's what I want for everyone watching this video, to be happy, joyous, and free. Count your blessings. Be grateful for the life that you have. You have so much to be grateful for. And there are so many people in this world that could only wish that they could have the things in their life that you have. So until next time, you guys stay grateful, be happy, joyous, and free. And I'll see you on the next video.